Um, hi, my name is Cindy, and my question is regarding the book uh, Natural Way to Draw by Nicolaides. Um, ever since Marshall mentioned this in the earlier episode, I feel really strongly this is something I need to go through in order to build a solid foundation to develop my artistic skills. But the difficulty I have is that I don't know how to go about it, and I really need your advice. Um, I know I can just take the schedules laid out in each chapter and follow it. Uh, my full-time job has nothing to do with art, but I can definitely carve out one hour per day for the practice. The problem I have is that Nicolaitis' curriculum seems to call for a lot of live models and cast models, and none of these I have access to. I really want to keep my materials simple and focus on the drawing and not the tools. But um, do I just start drawing and hope for the best? So, Marshall, I was wondering how you would have structured the course if you had to make one of those uh, based on Nicolaitis' book. And also, I also have a stance course on figure drawing, so I intend to incorporate that, too, in the practice. Um, thank you for considering my question. Bye. Yeah, my advice is just drop Nicolaitis and keep going with my course. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. No, this is all yours, Marshall. You, you, I, I've never gone through Nicolaitis, so I can't. If you don't have access to a live model, here's what you can do. Here's what I have students do. You collect in a folder what I call the folder bodies worth knowing. Athletes, surfers, pole vaulters, basketball players, even people that are in full uniform like football players where you hardly see the body parts. But athletes is one thing. Bodies that are worth studying, particularly when they're in motion or they're dealing with some kind of forces, but they could just be people posing in a life drawing course, uh, in, in a life drawing room. Um, that way, you've got a collection of photographs to work from. Now, people will tell you, it's not the same working from photographs. And they're right. But is it really that big a deal? Can you not deduce from photographs what you need? Nicolaides makes a point in there that you can study the gesture of drapery as it is being suspended, as it falls into inert folds, as it's on somebody's body and it's one way or another, depending on the position of their limb. Everything, as according to Nicolaides, has gesture. So you make a collection of things that you're interested in and try to use those exercises to understand their dynamics, the way they change and move. And that makes it more fun. Now, that's one, one answer to one of your questions. You do not need to study Nicolaides. The most interesting phenomenon when you bring <laughs> up a book that there's something about, is he pro-Nicolaides or anti-Nicolaides? He's both. That is so difficult to deal with. How can you be both? Nicolaides is not the answer to everything. Nicolaides is a very, very flawed book. I have acknowledged this from the first time I ever mentioned his name. <laughs> uh... But I also think it has got some of the best stuff in it for the training of artists for what's important. So it's a difficult, it's a difficult course. People gave their opinions and it kind of got tiresome to me. Just stay away from Nicolaides. And oh, you know, it's the gospel of everything. Uh, it it tends to be training that if you are way over on the tight side, you could really use that gesture stuff. And if you are way over on the loose side, you could really use those right angle studies. And you can do right angle studies from Edward Mybridge's figures because he's got the human figure in motion from the 1870s and he shot those things on one axis and on a 90 degree axis and sometimes even another 90 degree axis and you can take one of those pictures and see, figure out what would it look like if I were looking at it from another position and then you've got the answer there after you've struggled with it. Now that's slow motion and that's one of the most valuable things you'll get from Nicolaides is that you train in two opposite ways, meticulous and expressive. <laughs>